You know, if I spend thousands of dollars on handbags, I blame them. my channel so it is no lie that I have a little bit of an obsession with handbags and if you didn't know that you probably don't watch enough of my videos but basically whenever I go shopping I pretty much buy a handbag let's be real and I've taken you guys along to all of my luxury shopping sprees to buy all my Louis Vuitton handbags and I thought that I would film today a massive handbag collection for you guys showing every single handbag that I own so as you can see behind me, my display case is empty and there's a huge pile sitting next to me. So grab some popcorn and grab a drink because this is going to be a long one. Okay, I'm just thinking how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do it brand by brand for you guys just to make it a bit easier for you guys. So if you guys want to purchase the same one, you don't get confused. So I think I'm going to start with Ted Baker. Alright, so the first two bags I have from Ted Baker are their shopping bags. So the first one I have is this really cute pink Ted Baker shopping bag. So it just has a really cute pink bow with rose gold detailing on it and the Ted Baker logo as well that has the um, rose gold font as well. And you guys know me, I love my rose gold. So we have that one. And the other one I have is a black one as well. So this one has a white bow with the rose gold on it. And then it also has the rose gold Ted Baker logo down the bottom as well. So, and it also has the rose gold on the trim here as well. So I love to take either of these bags when I go shopping, just because these days uh, we're trying to use reusable bags now, so people are actually charging for plastic bags. So just to make my life easier and to save the environment, I like to use these bags when I go shopping instead. Next from Ted Baker, I have this really cute pink bag here. Now I got this from my parents for my 21st birthday and I absolutely love it. So on the front here, it just has a really cute rose gold bow and the Ted Baker logo down the bottom. And then it has a really, really cute interior. So you can see it has like little leopards and bunnies. I just think it is so pretty. That's one thing that I absolutely adore about Ted Baker bags is the interior of the bags because they're just like either florally or they're really girly and I just, ah, oh, I love them so much. So on the inside it has um, two smaller pockets either side for either like your phone or something. It has a middle pocket for all of like your little personal items and then the back it has like a normal like zip pocket that most bags have. And this one also comes with a body strap as well but I like to carry it with the top handle. This next one is the clutch version of the handbag I just showed you. Looks like this. So I actually bought this bag for a wedding just because I thought it was a bit more practical than an actual handbag. So if you open it up, it also comes with a body strap as well, which is rose gold. And then on the inside, it just has a plain interior with a couple of card slots down the side. So that is that one. So this last Ted Baker bag was actually my very first Ted Baker handbag and I got it from my parents when they went to New York. So um, we kind of have my parents to blame for this like whole handbag shenanigan really because like, I, I hadn't really heard of Ted Baker until my mum brought back this handbag and that's kind of where it all started. So, you know, if I spend thousands of dollars on handbags, I blame them. <laughs> that is this super cute handbag. How cute is this? So it has a floral pattern on the front, which is what Ted Baker is known for. And again, it has the little Ted Baker bow on the top. And I absolutely love the top handle on this. It's just, I don't, it just feels so different to carry it. And I just, I think it's so comfortable and it's just, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like different from holding a handbag. But I just, I love it so much. And it comes with a shoulder strap as well, which is adjustable on the side here. And then on the inside, it continues that little floral pin on the inside, so it looks like that. So pretty. 
and it has no pockets but if you watched my accessories drawer video you would have seen a little Ted Baker um, purse that I got and that actually came with this bag so we have that instead of a pocket on the inside but yeah this was my very first one isn't it cute I love it okay my next one is my one and only Michael Kors bag and I got this when I went to Hawaii it was also a present for my 21st birthday and it looks like this it's so cute and I absolutely love the pink with the gold I just think they look really cute together and what I love about the strap is that you can make it shorter so you can just carry it like this or on your shoulder or you can pull like one of them all the way up and you can have it as like a big crossbody bag as well and I really like that and then so to open it you just like pinch these two and it pops open like that and then on the inside it has a big pocket on the side here the main pocket a zipped compartment for all your private stuff and a little compartment here that also has a zipped pocket as well so that is that the next brand I have for you is Glassens. Now, last year, Glassens went big with all of their summer essentials, and I basically bought the entire store. I was just so in love. Like, I had beautiful sandals, uh, swimsuits, and bags as well. And the two bags I picked up are these two. So this first one is this absolutely gorgeous straw beach bag. I was after one of these for ages and when it finally came out in store I I bought it instantly <laughs> but how gorgeous is it so it's perfect for the beach and I just love the handles as well it's really got that little like classic basket bag kind of vibe and then on the inside it looks like this and as you can see down the bottom here it has like a little drawstring so you can actually put your stuff on the inside of this little sack and then seal it up and then push it back into the bag so I think that's a really great way to keep the sand out of the bag and just to keep your belongings safe when you go to the beach but it's so cute and the second one I have for you is this little fisherman's bag as well it is so cute uh, we went through a period on Instagram where these were like all the rave so I had to get one but I still use this to this day I just think it's the perfect beach bag so this one has like the two wooden handles and it also has a crossbody strap as well and I just love that it's all like that knitted material as well I just absolutely love the look of it and then on the inside it also has a little zipped pocket as well to keep your belongings safe yeah, it's perfect for the beach. Okay, the next two bags I have for you are from White Fox Boutique. So the first one is this super cute backpack. It looks like this. Now I actually added this pom-pom that I got for Christmas because I just thought it went perfect with it. But I, what I love about this backpack is how small it is. It's just so practical. So on the front here you have this little pocket here where you can keep like your keys or like I like to keep like my Ventolin or my money. And then on the top it has a bigger compartment where you can store like your oversized wallet or whatever you want really. It looks like that. And then what I also love about this bag is that the straps are removable. So you can either take these off and then just carry it like a, like a bag. Or you can um, only have one strap and then just have it crossed over. And then you can have it crossed over like your front. Or you can just have the two and wear it like a backpack. But I'm going to Queensland next month and I thought this would be perfect for the theme parks. So we're going to take that one with us. And the other one I have from White Fox Boutique is this really cute bag this is also a backpack but I like I prefer to just carry it like a little tote bag and so on the back that's what it looks like where you can put like the straps and then on the front here it just has this really cute like metal detailing I just love the look of it and then it also has some zips here so you can actually make the bag smaller or you can unzip it to have it a little bit bigger so when you open it up it just looks like that on the inside so it has the um, the backpack straps and it also has a zips compartment as well for all of your personal belongings. This next bag I have for you is from Colette. Now I fell in love with the Lady Dior bag but it's like $4,000 and I work at McDonald's so I haven't got that kind of money. And when I saw this bag I thought it was the perfect replica of the Lady Dior bag. It's definitely more of a rectangle than the Lady Dior bag but 
everything else just comes really close to it. This is what it looks like. Like how close does that look? If you know the Lady Dior bag, like you can definitely see the resemblance. But it has that super cute quilted pattern on the front here. And then it also has a gold butterfly little bag charm instead of like the Dior one. And then it also has like the fold down straps as well, which is perfect for when it comes to storing the bag. And then in the middle here, it has the zip compartment. So when you open it up, it looks like that. So it has a little slot here for your phone and also has a zipper compartment for all of your personal belongings. And this bag also comes with a shoulder strap as well. So you can definitely see why I fell in love with this bag. Now this next bag I have for you is from Sheen. Now I actually bought this a couple of weeks ago for my trip to Queensland because again I thought it was a perfect beach bag. And that is this super cute bucket bag. How cute is this? Now, I've used this a couple of times already, you've probably seen it on my Instagram, but I'm absolutely in love with it. So, underneath it has a really cute, like, white, creamy, knitted compartment, and then it's covered by this really cute rope detailing. And I absolutely love the straps as well, like, the attention to detail on this is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And then on the inside, it has like a similar compartment to the Glassons bag that I showed you that it actually has a drawstring to shut it. So it's going to look after your belongings while you're on the beach as well. But I absolutely love it and you're going to be seeing it in like every single Queensland vlog and every single Queensland photo. That's for sure. <laughs> But yeah, I will have everything linked in the description box below as well if you're interested in any of these bags. And just a little FYI, I have bought these bags like years ago, so I can't guarantee that I can find every single one for you. Alrighty, so the next two bags I have for you are actually bags that I've gotten for collaborations that I've absolutely fallen in love with. So the first one is this absolutely gorgeous clutch bag from All For August, and I love it. Now I never owned a clutch bag until I got this one and I can't understand why I didn't have one. If you haven't got a clutch bag, I highly recommend getting one. It is a game changer. I absolutely love this bag. So what I love about it is on the inside, it has like a massive storage room for all of your everyday products. And then it also has, I think it has eight card slots on the side here. And then it also has a zipper compartment as well. But the size is perfect. I can actually fit my um, full size wallet in here along with all of my daily essentials. And just look how gorgeous the detailing is as well. Like it's so here. And the other bag I have for you is this clear bag from Wild and Queso. So this one actually comes with a removable pouch on the inside. So this is what the bag looks like by itself. So this was like kind of on trend on Instagram. So everyone kind of has one but I just think they're so cute and perfect for the beach as well um, and I love like the handles as well just love the color of it it's really cute and then the pouch just looks like this so this is all fur by the way this is no animal or anything and then it just has a zipper on the front and it opens up like that with a little zipper compartment on the inside as well. So you can either carry this like a clutch bag like I like to do sometimes or you can just carry the bag like empty like this or you can easily just put the insert in the middle and then use it like this. Yeah, I just think it's a super cute bag. And the last handbags I have for you are all of my Louis Vuitton handbags. Now, I think I'm going to show you in like the order I purchased them. So, my very first Louis Vuitton bag was my Neverfull MM. So, this is the Damia Azur pattern with the rose ballerine interior. And I absolutely love this. This is like the perfect everyday bag because it can just fit everything in it. So, on the inside, this bag has a zit compartment. And it also comes with a little um, pouch as well. Right, let me just show you. It comes with like this little purse. And then on the inside, it also has the rose ballerine interior as well. And then on the end here, you can see it has like this little clip on the end. And then on the inside of the bag, it has a a clip here so you can actually attach that so no one will steal your purse from the inside 
but this is just the perfect everyday bag and so this is more of like a rectangle shape but you can also like cinch the sides here to make it a square so let me just do that quickly for you and then it's smaller so I like doing that when I go to the city because I don't carry as much but if I'm going shopping I like to have it bigger but that is the never full the second Louis Vuitton bag I got was a Christmas present from my parents and that is the Nana Nui and that looks like this so it is just the cutest little bag ever so I love using this during the summertime because it goes perfectly with denim shorts and it just gives that little summer vibe you know I don't know there's something about like having little bags in summer that just feels right but yeah this is definitely my favorite summer bag so you can tie it up at the front with the little strings and then when you open it, it just looks like this. Now, I actually wrote a blog post when I bought this bag as to how much you can actually fit in that. So I will link that blog post down below if you're worried about like sizing and stuff, whether or not all of your daily essentials will fit in the bag. But I was able to fit like my purse, my lip balm, my phone, and everything else that I take on an everyday basis, I was able to fit it in. But yeah, if you want to read that article, I will leave it linked down below for you. But this is also in the monogram pattern, but I absolutely love it. It is the perfect little bag. Now the third Louis Vuitton bag I got was a gift from my boyfriend for our four year anniversary. And that is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. So this is in the Domia Ebony pattern. Looks like chocolate. I really like it. Now this is definitely more of like a everyday bag than the Nana Nui. Um, it is smaller than the Never Full, but I think the Never Full is a bit more of an oversized everyday bag. But this is more of like a, a perfect size everyday bag. So it has like the little flappy handles on the side, which are really sturdy. And then it has a zip up the front here. And then when you open it up, it has the red interior. And it has a zip compartment on the side here as well. So yeah, like obviously this fits my full size wallet and all of my other daily essentials. And the final Louis Vuitton bag I have was a gift for my 22nd birthday from my family. And that is my Louis Vuitton Alma BB in the classic monogram. Now this is probably, I think it's my favorite out of the four. I like, I don't know, once I use one after a while, that one becomes my favorite and I just, I don't know, they all have like their perks, they all have like my favourite bits about them, but I love the structure of this bag, it's never going to lose it. So this is completely empty and it's very structured and I just absolutely love the handles as well, how sturdy they are. And this bag also comes with the crossbody strap as well, which I use on a regular basis. And it also comes with a locking key. And then when you open it up, it looks like this on the inside. So it has like a little phone pocket over here and this also fits all of my everyday essentials so I can fit my full size Louis Vuitton wallet, my phone, my lip balm, my keys, everything in this bag like a glove. Alrighty guys, so that was my massive handbag collection video. Now like I said before, I will have all the bags linked down below if they are in stock, so if you want to purchase them, you can. Now don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And also don't forget to turn on the push notification bell as well so you never miss a video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!